The wait could soon be over for hundreds of homesteaders who want to build or buy a home in West Hawaii. It's been nearly a decade since the federal government stopped backing loans on property within the Waikoloa Maneuver area. 100,000 acres of land riddled with bombs left behind by the military after World War II. Now officials say cleanup efforts at a small site in Waimea are nearly complete. Allison Blair reports. This is Pu'ukapu. For years, scores of Department of Hawaiian Homeland beneficiaries have patiently waited for the land to be deemed safe enough so they can get a loan to build or buy. Its rolling hills and lush pasture land make it one of the most picturesque places to build a home on Hawaii Island. But for many native Hawaiians, lost military munitions hidden within this rural community have brought dreams of owning a house here to a halt. You work with these families directly. Mm -hmm. How is it impacting them personally? Well, they're excited because they have the land, they want to build their home, and then after that, I have to tell them Financing is not available at, because of the bomb zone, the bomb uh, ordinance area. A no further action letter is needed uh, to provide with your financing to HUD so they insure the loan. How many people do you estimate that this affects? There are 468 lessees here on the Big Island in Pukapu. The 11,000 acre site sits on the eastern edge of the Waikoloa Maneuver area, a swath of land in West Hawaii extending from the popular Waikoloa resorts to Waimea and beyond. During the height of World War II, an estimated 50,000 Marines trained for combat here, battering the land with grenades, mortars, and bombs. Eight decades and numerous cleanups later, finding old munitions is relatively common. Blue dots pinpoint all the places unexploded ordnance have been discovered. The relics still energized, all with the potential to maim or kill. Over the years, at least four people have died. The Army Corps of Engineers is in charge of the latest cleanup. Two decades in, officials confirm less than 1% of the Waikoloa Maneuver area is safe enough for the government to want to sign off on a loan. Some people have been waiting since 2014. What have they done in the meantime? Just wait. They keep waiting. Any information would be helpful. Then last Tuesday, some homesteaders got news they've waited years for. Because of where it happens to sit and how it was not used, went through a little bit faster. In a community meeting, officials announced work at Pu'ukapu is complete. We found no evidence of military use of munitions out there. Government says all that's left now is paperwork, but exactly when those documents will be filed isn't clear. Advocates push to nail down a date saying the community's waited long enough. I love you for Father's Day. I really can't commit to it. What I can't commit to, though, is this is getting a lot of attention to make sure that this is done as expeditiously as possible. This is a good night. This is a win for us. I've been waiting a long time to hear the no further action letter is on its way. Now families who've been forced to put their plans for a home in Pu'ukapu on hold can start moving forward. It's just a matter of time before everyone who's been waiting to build homes can. Overall, the cleanup is still far from being over. With the completion of Pu'ukapu, only about 12% of the Waikoloa Maneuver area has been thoroughly swept. The Army Corps of Engineers estimates work to remove bombs from the remainder of the land won't end until at least 2053. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.